What's up, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. And today we're going to be talking about one of Heavy's coolest concepts to date, the Takamak. Now, I know I've said I've liked some weapon concepts before, but the Takamak is definitely already in my top five favorites. The reason being, because the Takamak finally gives Heavy what I've been wanting for the Heavy forever, which is a giant laser-type gun. You see, while other classes have gotten their own space variants of weapons, such as the Shooting Star for Sniper, the Cow Mangler for Soldier, or the Capper for the Engineer, the Heavy has yet to receive a futuristic weapon of his own, and that's where the Takamak could finally come in. So without any further ado, let's look at this weapon's stats. So to start off, the Takamak shoots energy orbs instead of bullets. These energy orbs work much like the Righteous Bison for Soldier, in that these orbs cannot be reflected and will penetrate enemy targets, meaning that technically, the Takamak could hit more than one target at once. Alongside this, the energy orbs are less affected by damage falloff than regular bullets, meaning the orbs would deal more damage from a distance than normal miniguns would. And lastly, and possibly most crucial of all, the Takamak has infinite ammo, meaning you'll never have to stop and look for ammo again so long as you're using this weapon. Now, surely, you'd have to think that this weapon was incredibly overpowered by this point, after all those upsides I just listed, but believe it or not, I actually struggled pretty hard with using this weapon for two major reasons, the weapon's downsides. So, number one. The Takamak comes with about a 20% damage penalty, which, honestly, considering all of its upsides, it doesn't sound like that big of a deal until you come to its second major downside, which is that the energy orbs are much slower than the Heavy's regular bullets. Because of this, enemies can be incredibly difficult to hit sometimes, especially when anything farther than mid-range. I found that one of the best ways to make up for this myself was to slightly sway left and right while firing, but to be honest, even that wasn't bulletproof. There was actually a point on 2 Fort, for instance, where I was shooting directly at an Engineer and a Heavy from long range, and they were both just dodging every single orb I shot at them like some sort of Matrix scene. So with the energy orbs being that slow, I'm guessing you can already figure out my very obvious fix, which is, I think the energy orbs should be faster, and if not faster, at least bigger. Maybe like the size of the orbs from the Engineer's short circuit. This would help fix the issue of the Takamak being essentially useless from long ranges, as well as help tracking be easier for mid-range targets. You see, at mid-range, you still face the issue with this weapon since the orbs trail behind your aiming quite heavily, and the problem only gets worse from any distance farther away. But at least with the orbs being a bit bigger or faster, this wouldn't be such a problem. And by faster, by the way, I'll just clarify, I wouldn't mean that the orbs would need to be as fast as the minigun's bullets, but just faster than it is now. If the energy orbs were as fast as the minigun's bullets, I think you'd actually risk making this weapon too overpowered, as the orb's penetration effect could deal too much damage to too many players at once. But anyways, as a trade-off for the one upside of having bigger or faster orbs, I think the weapon could then trade off its infinite ammo addition, as the weapon would still be incredibly viable without it. Honestly, part of being a good heavy is learning how to reserve ammo anyway, so this wouldn't need to be much different. Overall though, I've gotta say, I really like this concept idea in general and could easily see it working into the game someday. In my opinion, it doesn't really need much tweaking from where it's at right now, and actually already has multiple skin ideas imagined out on the workshop. And as a weapon, it feels amazing shooting out multiple laser-like particles at enemies in minigun fashion, and even better when you get to watch a group of enemies just evaporate right in front of you. It'd finally make for a welcome bit of variety in Heavy's minigun arsenal. So in my opinion, I would definitely love to see this weapon make it into the game someday, maybe with like a small space update we could get in the future or something. But anyways, let me know in the comments below if you agree, if you liked my changes to the weapon, and overall if you think you could see this working well in modern day TF2. And with that all being said, that about wraps up this episode of Heavy Weapon Concepts. Until next time, this was Big Joey! Later.